Hey, good morning from the grove. <laughs> I got a few few more trees, a couple of willows and red fires and so we'll see how it goes. See see. This is called a purple smoke bush. That's a purple smoke bush, and it should be a fine asset to Jurassic Park. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, but anyway, you know, it's a purp purple smoke bush. They're very nice, and they grow. Should grow about three meters tall, nine feet. And, uh, yeah. And I think we're gonna, gonna say this is Evie's tree. Evie, this is your smoke bush. Evie's got a tree in the grove. Smoke bush. There's a Peking cotton nester. There you go. That looks good. On to the next. This is quite possibly one of my favorite shrubs. It's called a nana willow. A nana willow with its healing properties of these trees are just unbelievable. Anyway, so we got three done. Taking a break. Here's the other Nana Little. Now we gotta put another cotton and another purple. Okay, so purple smoke bush. Big heat cotton. Nana Little. Nana Little. Picking cotton. And I'll put that purple one there. That's it for now. Okay, so there's uh there's the another purple smoke plant. Uh, this is for Amanda and the kids who are clients of mine and they're very sweet. And uh so I've gone to their house, had to do a blessing, emergency blessing yesterday. So I told her I'd plant her a tree at the grove for good luck and protection. And then I thought, where better for protection than beside White Owl? For one, White Owl loves purple, and for two, if a bad spirit touches a kid, White Owl will rip their head off. So I figured this is the best place for protection for them. So there's your tree, Amanda and the kids. Big hugs. Okay, there's Mom's juniper and my dad's juniper. The juniper, so there they have it. Looking pretty good. Okay, there we go. So we got three blueberry bushes planted for the spirits. Now, here's the thing. I figured, you know, three was good enough because, you know, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, they got the trio. Uh, but Billy says, no, no, young Billy here. He says, no, Uncle Danny, he says, we need at least three more. You know, and I said, well, what? He says, well, I'm in the know. I said, well, how do you know? He says, because I'm dead. And the spirits would like three more. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's just Billy's belly. Uh, <laughs> Billy's belly, though, wants three more. Uh, but so be it. We'll put three more in there just for Billy. Okay, there we go. Billy, three more holes, Doug. You got to wait till I get another 25 bucks, though. <laughs> Probably Monday. How are you going today? Uh, I'm doing really good. Um, <clears throat> don't normally do this uh, type of stuff, but um, as you know, with my growth, it's, it's all about love and respect and kindness. And well, anyway, <laughs> uh, my son Lou, who I love very dearly, uh, my, my son Lou Rock, love him to death. I mean, he's my buddy. Um, but anyway, um, his buddy Omar has been having a hell of a go lately. Uh, people bugging him and, and his family and shit like that. And, you know, I, I don't stand for bullies. I don't like that crap. Um, but anyway, um, and this is not for anything other than I just wanted to uh, show some support for the poor guy going through all this crap, you know. Um, so I decided that I'll do something special. And I went out and I got uh, one one for Lou. See, this is, this is yours, Lou. You know, and this is this is for you, Omar, and your family. 
Okay, this is for you. And, and you for your family. So you're going through that shit, okay? I really am. Uh, but anyway, I thought I'd get you guys both a, a mango pine, okay? Uh, and and the reason I thought about the, the mango pine is is it's Lou's fault, okay? Uh, Lou's fault. Uh, mango. <laughs> uh, there used to be a show years ago called Blazing Saddles, and there was this, this big, huge cowboy called Mango, and they would sit around the campfire eating beans and fart all the time. And while Lou, son, you've got a problem with gas, okay? Which <sighs> reminded me of Mango. And I figured, you know, Omar's your best buddy. You two probably would sit around the campfire and you'd be farting. So I bought, I bought you both a, a mango pine. I know. <laughs> but seriously, a, a mango pine it represents strength, kindness, family, uh, a bond of friendship. But it also means strength that, you, that you've never seen. Strength that's, that's always there. But sometimes you might not even, not even see it yourself. Okay, and it represents a gentle giant, okay? A gentle giant has always got your back sort of a thing, okay? That's what that means. Anyway, um, so I just want you to know, um, uh, Omar, I mean, like, we don't know each other that well, you know? But I know how much my son cares about you, and uh, and, and you seem, like, I, I've i seen you do, I've watched a lot of your stuff and that, and you seem like a super cool dude. Uh, so I wanted to do something for you, all right? So I've been praying for you and everything else for, for quite a while now, but you will now have constant prayers and love and support and energy being sent to you daily because of this tree for you and your family that's going to be planted in my grove, okay? So this is for you, and uh, that's it. Later. Hey, there's Lou's tree, and there's Omar's tree. All right, I am now taking a break because I am beaten.